On 7 Up Front tonight, Washtenaw County Prosecutor Ellie Savitt. His appearance comes after the announcement of a conviction, integrity, and expungement unit for the county. In Michigan, 20 people were exonerated last year. That's the second highest number in the country. One of those uh, people served more than 30 years behind bars for a murder he did not commit. By the grace of God, they laid the groundwork and proved the process works to where you can go back and look at old cases and wrongful convictions and make it right. I served 32 years for a crime I didn't commit. Prosecutor Ellie Savitt, thank you for uh, the time here tonight. Thank you so much for having me. Gilbert Poole was uh, freed thanks to a unit created by Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel. Why is a similar unit right for this time in Washtenaw County? Well, look, fundamentally, uh, I believe that convicting somebody and sending them to prison for a crime that they did not commit is not just the worst mistake a prosecutor can make, not just the worst mistake the judicial system can make, but it is the worst mistake the government can make. I mean, we have the authority uh, as prosecutors and as uh, the judicial system to deprive somebody of their freedom. That is an awesome power and, you know, it needs to be exercised, but we got to make sure that we're getting it right. And we have the ability in our office to go back and investigate claims of actual innocence and to short circuit um, the sort of process that private attorneys may uh, have to take in order to get somebody exonerated and get them freed. And so I believe it's a it's incumbent on, on all prosecutors uh, in a county of any size to have this unit to make sure that we're getting it right and to make sure that if we do get it wrong, that we're rectifying those past mistakes and not allowing somebody to sit in prison one day longer for a crime that they did not commit. So what will that process look like uh, in terms of preventing false convictions on the one hand, but then the possibility of those wrongful uh, convictions. Will you look at, at, at every case? Will it come from, uh, you know, people who are making uh, legitimate attempts to uh, have their cases looked at again? What do you, how do you proceed? Yeah, sure. So uh, we have an application that's currently up on our website. It went live today. And anybody with a Washtenaw County conviction who has a claim of actual innocence uh, can apply to have our conviction, integrity, and expungement unit take a second look at their case. Now, what we're not going to do is go back and second guess a jury decision. Uh, you know, we're not going to just go back and say, well, we think uh, it's more likely than not in this old uh, case that uh, the evidence should have been weighed differently. But if there is new evidence of actual innocence that comes to light, uh, we want to know about that. We will investigate that. And if uh, after that investigation, uh, we are convinced that somebody was actually innocent of the crime for which they were convicted, uh, we will set in place the uh, court procedures that will let them go free. Well, as we saw in Gilbert Poole's case, 30 years in prison, uh, a significant portion of his life behind bars for a crime that he did not commit. Uh, yes, every prosecutor should be uh, wanting to right those wrongs. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, there's, there's two parts of this, right? One is that that is a human being that is sitting behind bars who is actually innocent. They're missing the births and the deaths of their loved ones. They're career trajectory, their educational trajectory, uh, all of the experiences that all of us enjoy uh, to live freely has been taken away from them unjustly. And that's tremendously important. The other side of this too, is that if a crime was committed and we got the wrong person behind bars, that means that the person that actually committed that crime is still out there and hasn't uh, faced accountability for their actions. So uh, again, you know, I just think this is part of the process of doing our ethical duty to get it right, to make sure that we're not making these horrific mistakes, but then also to make sure that we are getting the right people uh, to answer for their crimes if in fact a crime was committed. Excellent, uh, we'll leave it there. Prosecutor Sabat, thank you uh, for the time and, uh, and the work in this area. And we'll, uh, we'll check back with you on the progress uh, in the months to come, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Ellie Sabat, the prosecutor in Washtenaw County. Glenda? Many thankful families behind that movement.